All right, back at Danbridge Acres, here we are upgrading the basement toilet. Here's our basement bathroom. It's got a nice uh, shower. It's got actually a sauna back there that we use for storage, as you can tell. We're not big into saunas. We have a hot tub out outside, which I prefer. Uh, and so now it's a storage. Actually, it would be a really good cold storage if it had a hole to the outside. But anyhow, uh, this is a, the boy uses downstairs here, as does the dog, because it's nice and cool on the tile floor. Anyhow, sorry about the echo. We're going to install this uh, bidet. Pickett's bidet. Ideal choice for family. Saving paper and more hygienic. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it, but others want to use it. So let's see what we can uh, do here. Get her sorted and inst installed. So as usual, with anything toilet related, first thing first, take the lid off. Carefully put that aside on a towel. So not to break that and then uh, yeah start bailing the water out of the bowl here I guess I could flush it a couple times first and I should uh, get rid of most of it let's try that mm, that seems to have got rid of some of it okay anyways bail the rest of it here this could uh, this could take a minute da, 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 da. I guess I could have flushed it twice. Anyhow, I'll come back when I'm finished doing this. All right, next up, take the toilet seat off. Get these uh, screws out of here. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. Get these guys all off. Get the uh, plugs out from the bottom. Generally plug down here or something. Whoa. Not on the older ones, plastic ones on the new stuff. And uh, take those out. Then we'll uh, install the uh, plastic bidet underneath that. I'll come back once I got that inside there. All right, so just screwing these back down. These little decorative caps back on, which kind of hold the toilet seat on as well. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the business. Well, that's not the business end. This is just the control end. So what has it got here? Off. Looks like a wand, <laughs> uh, shower, uh, shower, you know, I used to do that at the old uh, ladies' nights, shower. And then what's that? Is that a little bum? A little bum puller? Look at that, that's funny. Oh my god. Okay, so, you know, in North America, we don't use a lot of bidets. So we got Min Max, I think we better start on the old Min. Okay, so we've got some uh, plumbing to do here, and it was pretty basic. I just uh, used this... Uh, this, this you had to use. Usually you don't have to use it because a lot of these fittings have uh, rubber things on them. But uh, I tried putting it on without this and it leaked. So then I put this on and it didn't. So that was just a, uh, a sort of a T coupler here. Uh, it just uh, it came with this, the tape, and uh, and this hose here going to the actual uh, underneath this part with the controls. And at this point I don't see any leaks. Get a little cleaned up in here. Get some of the dirt out of the way, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I'll leave this towel underneath here while I do the first test. Make sure we don't get any leaks, or make sure we catch anything if it does leak. All right, always a good idea to do that. So we got the uh, toilet filled up again, turned on. Turn this guy back on. Yep. Okay. Good. It's looking good, no leaks. All right, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's test it. Not sure what to do here first. Try the shower. Ah, oh my God, it squirted right at me. <laughs> it's a squirter. Oh, what's happened with the bomb thing? That's, oh, Scheitenheimer. Jesus. Squirting all over, you gotta be sitting on this. On <laughs> you gotta be sitting on the toilet for in order not to get uh, soaked here. Oh my god. Well, what what can you do here to try it without it squirting in your face? Because that pretty much wanted to squirt in my face there. All right. Uh, bum? No, I already tried the bum. You think, well, nothing's going to shoot down. I guess it's supposed to squirt up at your bum. Uh, let's put something in front of it and then we can test it. Hang on. Here, we got these old plates here. I'll be I'll put that in front and see if I can make a test pattern with the plate in front of it. Oh no, I can't hold the plate at the same time. Hang on. Alright, I'm set up with the reverse tripod 
view, reverse camera view on the tripod. I think you can see the controller, the squirter, the plate. This would be your bomb if you were down here. So uh, let's see what happens now. Shower. Oh yeah, it's a little squirt. Turn it up. Oh, it's squirting right at the plate. Check that out. I guess that's the bum hole. <laughs> Not sure if that's the right language for YouTube, but that's the bum squirter. Let's see, we got this one. Got the double bummer. Not sure what the difference is between the shower. Oh, the shower's like super hard. And this one's like gentle. Then we got a wand. This wand dude. The wand just kind of goes down. Straight down. Oh. Not sure what what's story there. What that would be. Let's go around in circles. I don't know. I don't want to turn it up too much. That one squirts it right upstairs. That one also squirts it upstairs, kind of changes directions a little bit. And then this one, I don't know, this one just kind of maybe maybe it rinses it. Maybe it, oh yeah, maybe that's a rinser. Alright, well there you go, we got a lot of water everywhere. Because you're supposed to be sitting on it, not uh, <laughs> not shooting it against a plate. And that is a short lesson on the bidet. How to install a bidet. Oh my god, did I miss out all of that? Okay, so to sum up, that's uh, like I said, a short tutorial on how to uh, install a bidet. I'll just clean it up here, make it look professional. Uh, yeah, all the things that can happen at an acreage or at your house in general. So I just thought I'd throw that in. Very short tutorial. I didn't uh, include any of the uh, basic plumbing uh, procedures, which I think most people know how to do. It was just attaching those different hoses, uh, putting it under the uh, toilet seat here. Let's see if we're all on now. Uh, I don't know if it's very sturdy, but it's just a little plastic flat piece there that sticks out if you were to sit on that or push on that. When you got off the toilet, it would break right off. So you have to be very careful with that. And uh, yeah, so wiped all that off. And uh, let's check out uh, my uh, assistant here has been here for moral support the entire time. I appreciate that. Oh, check this out. Uh, my next uh, job. Look at this. This dog is absolutely falling apart. All of a sudden, I noticed that her hair <laughs> was coming out in clumps. Because oh, look at this. Yesterday. Oh, Jesus. Yesterday was uh, 35 degrees and wow, she is absolutely losing everything. So I got to go outside. Here's another little bitty I did up in the kitchen when I was pulling it out. What is that in the back of your neck there? Have you ever seen a dog shed like this? Nah, yikes. Look at this. Oh my Lord, my dog is falling apart. My dog is coming apart. Is that the heat? Is that the 40 degree heat coming up there? It's like 35 yesterday. Might even be warmer today. And she is, holy cow. Oh my God, look at this. Ha! Huh? Look at this. Oh, I don't know if I should pull it all out. Looks like you're gonna end up with no hair. I mean, it's loose, so it kind of have to. Look at this. But I'm going outside right now to uh, get some of this out of here, hey? Look at that. You'll lose 20 pounds today if I start pulling all that out. All right, hey, thanks for watching this episode of Bathroom Accoutrement. Got to clean up the rest of those towels. Have you ever seen this much hair come off a dog? Probably shouldn't do this in the kitchen. Oh my lord, the whole part of you is coming off. Puppy dog, look at this, look at your hair. Oh, you're going to have none left. What is going on? All right, well, let me uh, continue this outside. All right, let's... Uh... <laughs> Some of this hair coming out. Oh Lord.
So uh, yeah, this stuff is just getting pulled out, falling out. You gotta pull some of it because it won't even go in the brush. And like I was saying, uh, I don't recall this happening last year, but I guess uh, it just turned really hot all of a sudden. And so her hormones must have just said, that's it, drop the hair. Uh, I know on Pepper too, Pepper was doing this, but Pepper's hair is getting shorter. It comes out a little easier. So hers was coming out mostly on its own. I gave her a little bit of a brush yesterday, but look at this dog, look at this. And it's so uneven, it's falling out all uneven, so you can get some of it. Wow. What a mess. What a mess, but she's loving it. It's probably a little sore after this much brushing. That's a pretty aggressive brush. The entire thing of the video, I'm back and I actually realized how much I feel like she's not a strong so much to do. I'll be here for a while. Put the fan on, do the sound, and play it on. Make my sweat after the day, and that's it. I'll come back, like I said, a little, a little further along. She's having a shake and trying to get her to turn over because look at this side, not even done at all. But uh, we're in for a lot of this. And look at it, she still looks like a Wookiee. She wants to lay on the uh, cement. Oh, you do look better. Are you happy when you know it? Brush your coat. She does look pretty. Wow. You look pretty? Yeah. You looking sweet? Yeah, she look uh, reasonably smaller. She does look smaller. All right, on to the next job. Anybody? Bribers? All right. They're calling for some food. All right, I'll give them a little snack. Come on. Come on, I'll give you a snack. They're looking for Shannon, of course. They're like, yeah, that guy doesn't feed us, but I will. She still has some on the ground, but there's not very much, I guess. I'll give him a little half a wheelbarrow full. Grab the uh, wheelbarrow here and uh, put a pitchfork worth, a couple pitchforks worth in here. I'm gonna get this stuff off the uh, ground that's blowing around. waste it. Look at that. This is a this is good grass. They really seem to be enjoying it. Right? You do seem to be enjoying it, don't you? Waiting there. Waiting. Are you waiting for waiting for a little lunch? Yep, I'm waiting for lunch. I like to eat.
Put this right here up against the bale. Blow away. Look at who's coming. Who's coming running? Someone else coming running for some food here. Now they're gonna get into each other's business. What's this? Standoff. Dun 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 dun. Waiting for their snack. Do I need to separate it? Hey, what's up? You ready? All right, let me see if I can just camp. Alpha girl has seemed to have gotten out and is enjoying her own snacking again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ralphie. Come on, Ralph. Uh oh, we're gonna have to get something to uh, entice her out over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Ralphie. Ralphie, Ralphie, come on. Ralph girl, Ralph girl, Ralph girl, come on. This is, what, this is what the horses go for. Anything shaking in a can. Anything that shakes in a can like this is what they really go for. Should be able to get her back in here. And then I'll be able to put her in the pen that way. Ralph. Come on. Out the go. Come on, Ralph. Come on. Come on. Might have to rope ya. Come on. What I got? Let's put that dog for you. Come on. Yeah, I got this for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got the good stuff. Huh? Alright, man. Here. Yum. Okay, come on. There it is. Come on, Ralph. Ralphie. Come on. Alright, now we have a little. Come here. All right, then go in. All right, I should go in on her own. Yeah, there you go. Good girl. Now I got to go around and. Just like she's having a smoke. Put this bar here so she wouldn't do it there. 
she does it right beside me. Right, it's like having a smoke. Apparently. Okay, so you're just gonna do that. I went to grab her here and she took off on me. So I left the rope right here. Let's see what she's gonna do. What's up? Let's see, where are the ladies today? I don't see them outside in their pen. Guys inside? Oh yeah, there is everybody. Oh, Bud is inside. Oh, some are roosting on the roosting bar. Haven't seen that for a while. They're all enjoying themselves. Brock. And those are not eggs, those are golf balls, simulating eggs. <laughs> Probably won't lay eggs for another month or two, right? Still growing. All right. And yeah, the uh, chicken coop I built out of scrap is doing a great job. I did put this uh, piece of uh, plywood here, just to give them a little extra shade from the afternoon sun. Now they have shade all day long, but for some reason they're inside right now. And they got all this for ventilation, so they probably like it in there. Right, pup dog. Freshly brushed pup dog. All right then, well I got all the uh, inmates back where they should be. Again, Enzo's not getting anything because somebody pushed him off his batch. All right, looks like I'm gonna get her to come in now. Come on, big girl. There you go. They've been going in the uh, running shelter because I sprayed it for bugs, so there's no bugs in there, which is nice. This fence here is hanging down quite a bit that away, so let's tighten this up a bit. All right, ladies. Oh, everybody's inside. Very good. No bugs in there, right? I got these two nuzzling. Are you guys nuzzling? Oh, that's so sweet. Nuzzling. Oh, you look so good. The boy has to stay outside, though, right, boy? Yeah. Oh well. Next time, I'll take this for the chickens. Put water in this for the chickens. The other one I got was a little too uh, too deep. I think they don't want to get in there. And I have to check this fence here because it is hanging down in some spots, down along here. Not sure where Ralphie is getting out from. So we've got to walk the fence here. Yeah, here's a spot where it's down, but still, I can't imagine she could walk through there. No, she couldn't. This is still on top, but this does need to be tied back here. stick there is what I need. Throw my chicken bin over there. Find out where this is flopping from. That shouldn't be hanging on there. Where is Ralphie getting out from? She might be just stepping right over it here. It's pretty low. I can't imagine she would step over it. Yeah, I don't know where she's getting out of. This fence is taut all the way along. Definitely high enough. It's got the uh, full four electric on top and the thin electric on the bottom. So it's definitely not hanging down where she could get over it. Bees are, I guess the bees are mostly out doing their jobs see too many at the entrance right now. These don't even see any coming back. Your bees all okay in there? I guess I should check them. Check to see what's happening. Oh, here comes one back. Oh yeah, here they come. 
come back over inside with their depositories. Oh yeah, they're all out, out foraging. Here comes a bunch back now. All right, check the rest of this fence. On this side, yeah, that looks good. Can't imagine where she's getting out of. That's our uh, 20 year old Chihuahua's final resting place there. Gave him a little grave marker. He deserved it. Uh, yeah, I don't know where she'd be getting out of. This fence is up and fine all the way around. She's just stepping over it. Better. But turn the electrical on again. Sometimes we turn it off because we think they gotten the hint, but obviously if they're motivated enough, they will get over it. But like I said before, we have uh, a full a full fence around the property, uh, so they can't get out of the property as long as that gate at the driveway is uh, is closed right there. So if that's closed, they can definitely not get out of our 10 acres, but sometimes they can get out of the pasture area. Well, let's just check this last side here. And uh, yeah, I think that's all. It's all the way up over there too. As you can see, it goes all the way to there. Huh, okay, well, we'll leave it at that. One last thing I'll uh, show you since we're on a practically an entire 10 acre tour here is something I love about this property is black eyed Susans. They grow wild along the roads and wild along our driveway. And I just absolutely love them. It's such a happy place, happy driveway. Check these guys out, girls, I guess they are. And then, uh, when I cut them, I shoot them down here, so now they're growing down further along into the ditch here. Isn't that beautiful? Come on. Thank you. 